Mod Gamers. I didn't think I would be buying this cable, but here it is. This is the first party Oculus Link cable and you're gonna be shelling out 80 bucks for this thing. I had a solution working already with existing cables that I already had, just a generic cable with some extensions and it worked surprisingly well. But I ended up buying this just because I had some extra store credit and I wanted to see if really it's worth the price premium over the third party cables or just some cables you might already have. So anyway, let's take a quick look. I'm gonna do my best to keep any extra rambling around. Trust me, I've been rambling quite a lot. So the main thing about the first party cable, you're going to be able to get the majority of the features of this cable with any of the third party USB 3.0 cables, but you might already have stuff around to give Link a shot. For example, I had a regular USB 2.0, USB-C to USB-A cable, and I had some extensions lying around. I think I had these from old keyboards that I had at some point, but you could probably get these for really cheap as well. And this is going to get you a decent amount of distance. I mean, of course, depending on how far away you want to be, you could add more, but I think at a certain point, you're going to have signal issues potentially. But still, this was really cool just because I didn't have to buy anything extra. I was just able to hook stuff up and experience Link, and it was amazing. The things that you might want to, you know, that might lead you to eventually upgrade is that you could run to, to an issue where you're playing around and you accidentally step and disconnect one of these cables. It could happen. You also feel kind of these connectors because the rest of the cable is really light, but these little junction points, you really do kind of feel um, behind your head. So this cable, it's heavier surprisingly because this is uh, actually fiber optic cable. That's one of the things that makes this a little bit more expensive. It's heavier than this cable is, I mean, but you can really see that this thing is super thin, so it's not super surprising. This is just one continuous run, it's really nice, but one of the problems that I could see being for some people is that not everybody has a USB-C connector on their PC. So if you don't wanna deal with USB-C, you might be better off getting one of the third parties anyway, just for that fact alone. And even if you do, I happen to be one of, one of the people that actually does have a USB-C cable on my motherboard. I had problems with this. I ended up having to go through their FAQ. What was happening is it would register as a USB 3.0 cable and then they would eventually just kind of flip and detect it as a USB 2.0 cable for no apparent reason. I went through their FAQ and they suggested one of the troubleshooting steps was to rotate, rotate this 180 degrees and plug it in. And it's, it's really stupid because the, a lot of the point of this connector type is to be able to be reversible but sure enough, I flipped it around and I had no problems whatsoever. One of the things over here, the biggest problem I think for me is that when you're playing with this, your headset is going to discharge. You're going to lose battery as you're playing, which kind of sucks because you get the worst of both worlds. You're plugged in and you're losing battery at the same time. So that kind of blows. But this was able to charge just fine. But again, you're going to be able to get this with pretty much most of the USB 3.0 cables. Just make sure that they mention something about that in their listing, make sure the reviews are good. But I think that's definitely the way to go. The positive, the main thing that this has going for it, in my opinion, is that yes, it's fiber optic. It feels like a pretty quality cable, but it's going to be available in retailers. So I know that, for example, me around here, I know that some of my uh, some of the Walmarts around here have kept this physically in stock. So you might be able to just check local stores and pick this up. Uh, same goes for Best Buy and some Targets. So that's the main appeal for me. If you are impatient and just want to pick something up, this is the way to go because you're not going to find any long USB-C to USB-A or USB-C to C cables most likely that are enough of a distance where you could play comfortably. So anyway, that's it. I tried explaining this in much more rambly ways, but that's the gist of it. Convenient, cheap, works, but you're not gonna be charging your battery. You're gonna be discharging your battery while you play. This, cool, it's one entire cable, but it's USB-C on the end, might be an issue for some. And it's 80 bucks, you can get most of this for probably half the price, if not a little bit less. Make sure 
to check the reviews. I'll leave links to some of the ones that I'm looking at, uh, some of the ones that I was debating on before I bought this. I, uh, the only reason I bought this is because I had some store credit on Best Buy and that's why I pulled the trigger, but I was also really curious to see if the performance was going to be anything amazing. 3.0 cables if you want to be able to charge your headset and to use some of the higher end features like running it at 90 hertz, which is very, very cool. I haven't had that since the CV1. Damn, that was a long time ago. Anyway, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to respond there. If any of this stuff helped clear anything up for you, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And that's it for me, y'all. Have a good day. See ya.